the pieces together. Eventually he will look like this, okay? All these pieces are the exact same. The ears, the neck, the leg placement, the little tail. You will not put any stuffing in the tail. It's completely flat, okay? No stuffing in the tail, but you will stuff the legs. You will stuff the neck. No stuffing in the ears. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and assemble some of the pieces together that I think will be tricky and other pieces which I think you'll be able to do on your own, okay? So let's start with the head. Okay, grabbing our yarn needle or tapestry needle. Go ahead and thread this through. Okay, taking an ear. I flattened it completely and then you fold it in half, okay? I take my yarn and I will sew this half together. So this side and this side. That way it stays folded. Okay. I'll take my llama face, the llama face, and put my ears. So there's not a set place where it's like this row back and this row apart. They, they don't have that. Okay, so you're going to have to eyeball it. So I'm going to say, yeah, that's a great place where I'd like my ear to go. So into the stitches and then I'll come to the ear and I'll sew from outside in and pull. Okay, next stitch over and then outside in and pull. Following along the ear Great, look at that, isn't that cute? Okay, I might even go around a second time just to extra secure because you want these pieces to be on there really strong. Keeping in mind who might be playing with this, it might be a child and children love hard. They do, they love hard. And so your stuffies need to be able to, to take that love and not fall apart. <laughs> Great. Okay, once you get to the end or decide that you are done, I'll take my needle, I'll go into a stitch that I just went into. Okay, hold back some yarn. I take this yarn and I twist it. So I'll put my finger in this side and I'll twist it. So it forms that X shape. See the X shape? Okay, the top layer is facing towards me top one. So I need to go in the bottom one here through and it forms a slip knot. And I'm slowly going to feed because if you feed it too fast it'll close the knot with a bunch of loop slack that just sticks out. It's not good. Okay, reinsert my needle into the work, come out the other side, pull the yarn through the project and then we can cut this slack. And the yarn that's stuck in the polyfill doesn't move because it is stuck in the polyfill. Great, there's ear number one, guys. Okay, so ear number two will be done the same way that we just did on this side. When it comes to the neck, one tail will sew to the head, the other tail will sew to the body. So we'll do one side, okay, so when we attach this to the head, we attach it to the bottom of the head. The very first stitches should kind of be in line with this line right here where the white changes to the pink. Okay, so I'll keep it in line right there where the two colors merge. Okay, and then I'll go on the outside, in, and then next stitch. Then outside, in, next stitch. Okay, keep
keep an eye on the form. That way you make sure that it's not like doing that thing. We don't want to do that. We don't want it to look like that. We want it to look like that. Okay, so I keep an eye on your stitches so that way your head is actually being sewn to the neck the way you want it to be sewn to the neck. Okay, there we go. That looks good. Great. And you're just following the neck around, knowing when to turn based on when the neck shows that it's starting to turn. Okay, great. If you have enough yarn left, you can go around one more time just again to strengthen the neck portion of this llama. When you are done, insert your yarn needle into the next stitch, pull through, hold some yarn back, put your finger in from the bottom and twist it so it forms this X shape. Come around this side and pull. If you end up coming around the wrong side, you'll notice that the knot didn't take. So if the knot doesn't take, try coming around, uh, entering your yarn needle into the other side of the X shape and seeing if the knot will actually take on that side. Okay, great. Neck looks fabulous. Okay, now we grab the body. We grab some polyfill or some stuffed animal stuffing. Okay, and we'll stuff the neck. Great. We'll take the tail and we'll thread the tail. Perfect. We're gonna have the neck actually come out the top section. It's like a diagonal section right here. Again, there's no set sew this neck between this row and that row. It, it's not there, it doesn't happen. So you gotta kinda eyeball that, okay? If you need to remove the stuffing to get some of your stitches where you need your stitches, that's totally fine. Do what works best for you. I'm kind of using my thumb to push back the stuffing. If you attach the head before you attach the legs, then you really don't have so much to worry about or think about in regards to symmetry and making sure your, your head isn't too close to one leg opposed to another. So I recommend that you attach the head neck before you attach the legs of the llama. Perfect, okay, now that we've attached the neck to the body, if you again have enough yarn, go one more time around. I don't, so I'm gonna go ahead and go into the stitch before, through, Twist my yarn, go underneath the loop, through the loop, and pull, and that's just make, made a slip knot, that's all that did. Reinsert my needle, come out the other side, and just allow that yarn to get sucked into the main body of the llama. Awesome, okay? So now we have the ears figured out, we have the head, the neck, the body. We'll do the tail real quick and then we'll do the legs last. So the tail is not stuffed. We don't put anything in there but maybe that little marker tail. Okay. Great. So I usually look for the center circle and I'll go right above that. 
keeping in line with the neck just for some symmetry and then I'll sew. Great, little nub of a tail, so cute. Okay, and then seal this off. Okay, so when it comes to the legs, obviously two will go in the front, two will go in the back. The example that I've already made is you really just kind of find the face, find the body, and go one and one. That's it, okay? And then just arrange the legs sideways. You're looking for your own symmetry, okay? There we go. So I'm gonna show you one leg, and then I will let you go to do the others on your own. So we're going to get our polyfill or our stuffing. Okay, and we're going to stuff firmly. You really want to get this shape to take form. Okay, you don't want to overstuff though because you don't want those stitches to stretch like that. So I'll remove some stuffing. Don't want to overstuff. There we go. That's a lot better. Great. Thread our needle, okay, find him, first leg, boom, right there, and attach. Great. All right, there's leg number one, guys. If you have enough yarn, I highly recommend that you do go around this leg one more time, because again, this thing's gonna be loved hard by a child, so we wanna make sure that all the pieces are strong. Great, okay. And we finish this off with a knot to secure. Insert our needle into the work through. Great. Okay, so that's really just the gist of it, guys. I really feel confident that you will be able to stuff your other four legs and attach in the locations that you think that, that work best for your llama. That's the fun part. No two llamas are going to look the same. And of course, the ear, you'll attach where, again, you think looks best. The only thing you're going to want to focus on is making sure that they're in line with each other. That's it, that's all you gotta worry about. Okay, so if you finish making your llama and he looks like this, again, you can choose if you want the face or not. I actually do like the face. I think I'm gonna add the, the little nose and mouth to this guy. If you finish your llama and you're all done and you decide, you know, I really do think that he needs to be fuzzy because llamas are fuzzy. Llamas have that really fluffy fur. Okay, and this of course is only in regards to if you did not use the pipsqueak yarn. If you use the pipsqueak yarn, your llama is probably super fluffy and super adorable. But this is if you don't want to use the pipsqueak yarn. If you wanted to use the non-textured yarn, this llama is still cute. He's still so adorable. But if you decide after making him, yeah, I wanted fluffy yarn, you can absolutely turn him into 
this creature right here that I made. He's fuzzy. He's super fuzzy. Oh my goodness. So what I did is I took this guy, took this yarn, this exact same yarn. It's still the paint box bubblegum yarn. I grabbed the wire brush and I've only really just begun. So he still kind of looks a little rough, but you just lightly brush the fur. You lightly brush the yarn. So you basically take, take this and you would just brush it very lightly one direction and then turn him and very lightly brush him the other direction. Okay. And after a while, he starts to get this really cool fuzz. And if you keep doing it, eventually all you can see is the fuzz. Go sideways this way sideways this way and you get this cool fuzzy look to him that's really neat it's really soft and it allows for that really cool textured look again I still have a lot of brushing to do there's some spots like right here where I didn't get to that at all and I'll need to go back and I'll need to just really grow the the fuzz off the yarn and that's it and the more you do it the more you'll just see the fuzzy it's so cool and that is a way for you to take a regular yarn especially if you struggle with using textured yarn and turn him fuzzy and then he has that that definite llama look to him pretty cool right all right that is it that is how you make your llama I hope you had fun crocheting your llama. If you did, you might also really enjoy these videos right here. Also check out this video, which is just a recommended video for you to watch. Thank you so much for spending time with me today, crocheting with me today. I always have fun crocheting with you. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you with my next video. Bye guys.